At this time, let's meet both teams. First for Whitco, the non-starters. Number four, Addison Patrick. Number eight, Hannah Moore. Number 12, Sophie Keener. And number 14, Sophia Deneve. And the starters, number one, Isabel Harmon. Number two, Taylor Long. Number three, Julia Elder. Number five, Andrea Worsler. Number nine, Olivia Anderson. Number 13, Alyssa Romine. And number 20, Alexa Cole. Whitco is coached by Courtney Carver. And now for your Rochester ladies, Evers the non-starters. Number eight, Ella Hey. Number nine, Emma Murphy. And number 11, Rylan Strasser. And now the starters, a freshman, number two, Kyra Dorn. A freshman, number five, Braylon Hunter. A freshman, number seven, McKenna McKee. A freshman, number 16, Sophia Kuzkisakis. A freshman, number 21, Gabby Medina. And a freshman, number 26, Jenna Cypher. Rochester coach by Rebecca Bollinger.
Time out, Rochester. Time out, we go.
Time out with Joey. Rochester wins the first set 25-12.
Time out, good job.
Time out, Rochester.
Rochester wins the second set, 25-23, wins the match 2-0. Mrs. Hernandez, because she's always there for me. Keaton's extracurricular activities include Spanish club, NHS, volleyball, softball, a volunteer teacher at Bible study every Sunday, and she's a junior member on the park board. After high school, Keaton plans to go to college, which is undecided right now, and become an orthopedic surgeon. Keaton's favorite volleyball memory, is getting Starbucks before every game with Ella and Kyra. Ladies and gentlemen, number 18, Keaton Dorn. Again, welcome to Rochester High School for this TRC matchup between the Whitfield Wildcats and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, let's meet the non-starters and starters for Whitco. First, the non-starters, number one, Hope Bradley. Number two, Alexa Cole. Number seven, Allie Ridenauer. And number nine, Sophia Deneeb. And now the starters, number three, Emerson Harper. Number five, Caitlin Beer. Number 23, Madison Bright. Number 10, Kaylin Bright. Number 11, Jillian Colt. Number 12, Audra Randberg. And number 16, Gwen Howard. With co coach by Doug West, assisted by Courtney Carver. <laughs> And now for your Rochester ladies, here's the All Stars. Wearing zero, Logan Hunter. Number five, Graylin Hunter. Number eight, Ella Hank. Number eleven, Rylan Strasser. And number twenty, McKinn McKee. And now your starters of 5'3 Junior, number three, Riley Clouncher. A 5'4 Junior, number 10, Dara Strasser. A 5'6 freshman, number 12, Aubrey Wilson. A 6 foot sophomore, number 14, Avery Montel. A 5'6 Junior, number 23, Lily Lett. Junior number 24, Aubrey Bollinger. And 
coverage of tonight's varsity volleyball contest between the Whitco Lady Wildcats and the Rochester Lady Zebras. It's senior night here at Rochester, which means it's Keaton Doran night, because she's Rochester's only senior. And she was just introduced as one of the starters. And it'll be the curiosity here is how will Rochester bounce back from that heartbreaking loss to Tippecanoe Valley on Tuesday night, they lost in five. They won the first two sets and had a match point in set three, but wound up losing 15 7 in the fifth. So, how will they bounce back? Coach Linnea Strasser was just disappointed with her team, said they, kind of, they quote unquote gave up. After that, and uh, so again, in Rochester will have the serve to start the first set. And that would have, you know, had they won that, that probably would have been their biggest win of the season. So let's see how they bounce back tonight. Rochester's going with Clevenger, Doran, Lett, Bollinger, Wilson, and Montel. I would imagine we will see Logan Hong Kong pretty soon. Whitco going with Brandenburg, Culp, Caitlin Kripe. And we start with a serve by Clevenger, and the attack, and it's down by Audra Brandenburg. That serve actually deflects off the ceiling. What a play by Wilson. And that's the point for Rochester, one all. I'm Val Sitsuris, and our producer here is Caleb Wilson. Wilson to serve. Strasser, Wilson. Tipped by Bollinger. Covered well. Tipped by Caitlin Beer of Whitco, and there's going to be a whistle. Point Whitco on a double hit by Rochester. Doug West is the coach at Whitco. Wilson to Strasser, tips. She put it down, two all. Got to meet Doug West when he was the head coach at Tippecanoe Valley. I believe this is his second stint in Whitco. I know he's a coach at Plymouth. Has quite a bit of college coaching experience as well. Hong Kong in there, her serve. Nice pass by Ridenauer. Put down, I think that was Howard. 3-2 Whitco. Pass by Lett, and that's going to be an ace. 4-2. Scherzer got caught a little bit too close on that pass. Good pass by Clevenger after the serve hits the net. Look good after free ball. This one over. Howard gets it over. Hong Kong, Wilson. Lefty tip by Bollinger. Wicko keeps it alive. Back row attack. Tipped and down. 
Beer. It's a 5 2. A two handed back row tip. Hong Kong was able to free ball it over, but a, a good serve. Nice dig by Lett. Wilson to Lett. Off the block, slow down. It'll be free balled over by Howard. Bollinger off the block and down. Five to three. Back to serve for Rochester. Audrey Bollinger. Bollinger. Have to be two-handed over by the libero. And Ella Hake's kill attempt goes into the net. Point for Whitco, six to three. Jillian Palfrey enters the Whitco lineup. Kaylin Cripe serving for the Wildcats. Kaylin Cripe serving for Whitco. Hake. Wilson. Clevenger from the back row. Culp misses on the kill try from the opposite. Six to four. Dara Strasser back in the Rochester lineup and she'll serve for the Zebras. Dara Strasser to serve for Rochester at four six. Montel sends back the tip try. Then Montel tries it again. Beer shot handling the net is shaking. Point Whitco. That was on Strasser into the net. Seven to four. Gwen Howard serving for Whitco. Gwen Howard. Jump serve. Good serve. Honkamp over on one. And Emerson Harper goes opposite for the point. 8-4, Whitco. From the angle, Gwen Howard again. Han Kamp, tight. Oh, what a nice play by Wilson. Keegan Dorham enters the Rochester lineup. Lily left serve. Whitco with four seniors, Rochester with one. Not a great set. But now Rochester caught out of system. Doran will hit it to the back. Howard in center field. Back set. Harper. Good dig. Whistle. Point for, the Point for Whitco. Madison Craig serving for Whitco. Rochester with a net violation, it looked like. Kripe serves into the net. That's Madison Kripe. Back to serve for the Zebras, Wiley Clevenger. <laughs> tip try, Clevenger dives, but can't keep it off the floor. Nice tip by Brandenburg. 10 to 6, Whitco. Back to serve for Whitco, Jillian McCall. Jillian Culp. Strasser. Wilson. Bollinger. Nice dig by Caitlin Kripe. Excuse me, by Madison Kripe. Doran. In. Kind of like a modified roll shot, but kind of flat-footed, but well done by Keaton Doran. Wilson to serve. Into the net. 11 to 7. Caitlin here to serve for the Winko Wildcats. Beer to serve. 
Clemens has to backtrack, but handles it. Wilson to Bollinger. Oh, great dig. Are they going to get it over? Yes. Fantastic play by Ridenauer. Lefty tip. Somehow Strasser was able to get it over. Howard with the attack. Off the block. Doran. Wilson sends it back deep. Howard. Great dig let. Wilson to Doran. Stuffed back. It lands out. Point for Whitco, 12-7. Whitco strong at the net with Caitlin Kripe and Howard and Brandenburg. Let from the back row. Oh, a two-handed slam dunk of a tip by Brandenburg. You can see that very often, 13-7. Let Wilson, that was tight, so just send it back. And what a shot by Let from the back row, 13 8. Logan Honkong, Ella Hay, back in the Rochester lineup. Logan Honkong serving for the Zebras. Can Rochester got the Twin Lakes tournament coming up on Saturday? And they open sectional play next Thursday with a match against North Miami at Pioneer. Brandenburg, nice dig, Honkamp. Free ball over by Honkamp. Tight. Bollinger. Kind of wore the net, and Bollinger was able to kind of had an awkward left handed tip, but it worked. And the ace. Honk if you just served an ace. Logan Honkamp. It's Rochester within three again. Howard dug out by Hong Kong, but that will be a point for Whitco, 14 10. Otter Brandenburg to serve for Whitco. Hong Kong with the pass. Wilson to let into the net, 15 to 10. And Brandenburg serves in the net, 15 to 11. Back to serve for Rochester, Audrey Bollinger. Howard and Montel will free ball it over. Good block by Montel. Free ball over by Caitlin Kripe. Wilson sends it over. Now Caitlin Kripe to Harper. And there'll be a point for Whitco. 16 11. Julian Cole Raiders the Whitco lineup. Serving for the Wildcats, Caitlin Kripe. Jillian Colt back in for Whitco. Caitlin Kripe serving for Whitco. Clevenger will have to free ball it over. A tough pass there. Great dig by Clevenger. And there's going to be a double hit called on Rochester. 17-11. Kaelin Kripe, clean ace. Clevenger ducked thinking that would land long, but it shot down and hit well inside the baseline. Clevenger over on one, and there to clean up the play was Jillian Culp. Timeout Rochester. Time out, Rochester. Their first. We'll be right back.
Kaitlin Kripe. Just long, 19-12. Dara Strasser re-enters the Rochester lineup, and she'll serve for the Zebras. Strasser to serve. Nice pass by Madison Kripe. Logan Honkam gets down low, but handling the play at the net was Gwen Howard, 20-12. Gwen Howard will serve. Gwen, the TRC shot put record holder. Let. It's going to go long. 21 to 12. Honkamp. Wilson. Montel with a tip. Harper, her attack goes into the net to make it 21-13. Back in the Rochester lineup, Keegan Dorn, Lily left, serving for the Zebras. Lily, Lily Lett to serve at 13-21. Oh, excellent job there by Jillian Culp. As Whitco able to get it to their middle. Madison Kripe. Let to Wilson. Strasser. It's wide. 23-13. Time out, Rochester. <laughs> Clevenger gets it over on one. Good play by Brandenburg, but in a very nice tip, and Rochester will win the point. I think that was Wilson, 23 to 14. Back to serve for the Zebras, Riley Clevenger. That one goes wide by Brandenburg, 23 to 15. Clevenger serves one deep to Howard. Attack from the opposite goes wide by Jillian Culp, 23 to 16. Timeout Whitco. Time any worse as Rochester scored three straight points to get to 23-16. Riley Clevenger serving. Sends it deep. Howard. And will have to tip it over. Beer. Bollinger. The attack goes back. Let's see. Doran tips it over. When Howard from the back row. Clevenger handles it. Dump try by Wilson, and that just leads to Caitlin Kripe beating Brandenburg. Set point, 24-16. So good job by Whitco to cover the tips there. Strasser, Wilson. Clevenger, it's tight. Bollinger, good job keeping the lie by Kripe. And the kill off the block by Bollinger as she's able to challenge Brandenburg and win that challenge, 24-17. Allie Rittenauer, Raiders, the Wicko lineup. Aubrey Wilson serving for the Zebras. And another kill by Brandenburg closes out the first set as Whitco beats Rochester 25-17. Whitco now leads one set to none, and we'll be right back. Three, Rochester lost to North Miami in four, and of course, Rochester can play North Miami in the sectional. 
Both teams beat Peru in three. And an ace to start off the set. That's Madison Kripe. Let to Wilson. Braylon Hunter now, and she attacks, but Whitco handles it. And the attack by Harper of Whitco goes long, one all. Back to serve from Rochester Zebras, Aubrey Wilson. It's worth noting uh, Rochester beat McConaughey on three, Whitco lost to McConaughey on five. Harper. From the back, Hunter, that's going to be sprayed wide. Two to one, Whitco. Jillian Colt serving for Whitco. Jillian Culp to serve, Strasser with the pass. Wilson to Strasser. Madison Kripe, Brandenburg puts it down. thing about Brandenburg, it's not just watching her, it's not just her power, it's kind of the quickness of her arm swing. Just kind of whips it down. Culp serves, let Wilson, Bollinger. That almost handcuffed Gwen Howard, but she keeps it up. And now Howard will attack again. Wilson, Strasser, Wilson with a flat-footed attack. Madison Kripe. And another kill for Brandenburg off the block. Brandenburg, kind of a different, maybe different type of player than, say, Ava Egal for Michaeli Costello. Effective, though. Harper. Black, can they keep it up? Nope. 5 1, Whitco. Let Wilson, Hunter from the opposite. And goes into the net, 6-1 Whitco. Timeout Rochester. Time Rochester, their first. And they have not been reactive. Whitco with five straight points. Make it six straight. And an ace by Jillian Culp. Strasser, Wilson, back row attack. By Clevenger, but Howard handles it. Clevenger to Wilson, Bollinger. Harper, slowed down by the Rochester block. Wilson to Hunter, tipped. Wilson able to play, they played it off the net. Got it over on three, Harper. That's a kill from the outside by Emerson Harper. Whitco played Wabash twice, played him at a Saturday tournament and beat him, but in their TRC match they lost to Wabash in five. Rochester beat Wabash in three at Wabash. Let Wilson, Strasser, it's gonna go long, nine to one. Strasser, Clevenger, let from the back. Howard handles that. Awkward attack, and that is going to be a point for Rochester as Harper touched the net. She did everything she possibly could to not touch it, but she touched it. Ends a run of eight straight Whitco points. Honkamp serves into the net, 10 to 2. Harper serving for the Wildcats. 
Whitco drew Bluffton in their sectional. We'll play Bluffton next Thursday. Harper skids off the net, but Lett is able to play it. Lett, oh, great dig by Madison Kripe. And they get it over. Wilson will tip it deep. Madison Kripe plays that. Caitlin Kripe to Howard. Whoops. Howard winds up playing it on one. Let's see if Rochester take his, takes advantage. Net is going to be four as Cake misses on a kill try. 11 to two. Harper. Clevenger to Wilson. That's going to be in. Let's see. Audrey Bollinger getting many swings from the opposite, but that was very effective. Tuck that right inside the baseline. Three serving 11. We're in set two. Whitco on the first set, 25-17. Over on one, but out of system. Fork lifted over by Lett. And that is, again, the quick right arm of Audra Brandenburg, who puts Whitco up 12 to three. Audra Brandenburg serving for Whitco. <laughs> Clevenger able to handle that one. Tip try, well done by Lett. Dara Strasser will reenter the Rochester lineup. And will serve for the Zebras. hasn't given much up out of that no man's land. They've covered that pretty well tonight, but let able to handle that one. Kind of a shank there by Harper, and Whitco will just have to free ball over the serve. Wilson to let. Good dig by Kripe, and that is a very, very good play by Caitlin Kripe to get it over. Caitlin Kripe tight and it just lands that would have been four hits if Howard had touched it so just kind of a call that a set error point Rochester 12 to 5 a rare set error from Caitlin Kripe who's been great tonight Kripe again stuffed point but Whitco. out point Whitco 13 to 5 give credit to Gwen Howard for a kill Serving for the Wildcats, Caitlin Kripe. Caitlin Kripe to serve at 13-5. Handled by Clevenger, it'll go over on one though. Oh, what a play by Wilson. And Gwen Howard, what a play by Aubrey Wilson. 13-6. I mean, Gwen Howard is a, she might be the best athlete in this building. And Aubrey Wilson was equal to the challenge. Harper, Kaylin Kripe, Madison Kripe. Montel with a roll shot. Good job by Harper moving laterally to cover that. Excellent attack by Jillian Culp, 14 to six from the opposite. Gwen Howard now serving. Gwen Howard. Strasser to Wilson, to Hunter, it crawls on and then over the net. Harper, blocked back by Bontel. And that is gonna be point Whitco. I think that was on Wilson, 15 to six. Hunter. Madison Kripe, Caitlin Kripe. I think Montel just got a hand on that, slowed it down a little bit. Nice attack by Lett, Point Rochester. Serving for Rochester, Riley Clevenger. Clevenger serving at 715. Kripe to Kripe. To Culp. 
Great swing, Jill. You heard Doug West just compliment his player. It was 16-7. Madison Kripe, again, an attack from the back row and put on the sideline by Lett, 16-8. Wilson to serve, Harper with the pass, Brandenburg. That time Lett was ready for it. Hunter, Madison Kripe, Caitlin Kripe, Howard from the back. Clevenger can't quite handle it, 17-8. Well, that's gonna be frustrating if you're Rochester because you, you were able to dig out Brandenburg for, which has been a struggle, but still couldn't win the point. Let from the back again, Madison Kripe. Wilson, deep to Howard, Brandenburg again. Down the middle. Long by Culp, 18 to nine. So a service error by Julian Culp. Hong Kong, that is tight. Can they play it? Nope. Service winner. Harper slowed down on the net. That was a good play by Hake. Let with the attack, and she got it. Timeout, Whitco. Time so as Rochester scored the last three points, we will be right back. Senior night at Winnemac with the Lady Warriors hosting Logansport. And senior night at Pioneer with the Lady Panthers hosting West Lafayette. Almost a ding-dong. What a play by Bollinger to keep the play alive. And another missile from Audra Brandenburg. Seems like Brandenburg likes to hit the ball to her right out of the middle. That's where she's most comfortable. Harper to jump serve. Over on one. When Howard eats that one up on the overpass, 20 to 11. Harper serves wide, 20 to 12. Back to serve for Rochester, Audrey Bollinger. Audrey Bollinger to serve. Brandenburg with the attack from the opposite. Rochester able to handle that, but an attack by Wollinger well, goes into the net. 21-12, Whitco. And the ace. Brandenburg able to handcuff Hake, 22-12. Hake, Wilson, beautifully placed tip by Lett. Dara Strasser reenters the Rochester lineup, and she'll serve for the Zebras. That tip, it spent a lot of time in the air, and you were, really has to be well placed, but boy, it was. Shoveled over by Beer. Montel. 
Howard. Dug out by Honkamp. Clevenger. Free ball over by Wilson. Up. Nope, goes wide. 23 to 13. Jillian Colt back in for Whitco. Caitlin Kreit serving. Rochester fell behind in this game 11 to 2. Playing from behind ever since, and there is a back row kill error by Han Kamp. 24 to 13. Set point. Clevenger to Wilson. Let again, but that time Beer is there. And that was banged into the net by Jolene Kulp to make it 24 14. Braylon Hunter back in. Oh, nice attack by Gwen Howard and from the opposite. And that is the end of set two. Whitco defeats Rochester 25 to 14 and then I'll lead two sets to none. And we will be right back. Point for the Back at the RHS gym, Rochester leads 1-0 in set four. Uh, as a kill attempt by Caitlin Beer went long, but that was a kill by Audra Brandenburg. Great diving effort by Lip, but couldn't pancake up, and that made it one all. And then that is a clean ace from Jillian Culp. Two one. Rochester played off the net. Nope. Another ace or a service winner by Colt. Strasser handles the serve. To Wilson. The kill attack goes. Long and wide by Bollinger. 4-1 Whitco. Lett with the pass. Wilson, back row attack. By Lett. If we free balled over. Handled by Caitlin Kripe. Nice dig by Strasser. Tagged by Bollinger. Gwen Howard is there. Left-handed tip. Nicely done by Brandenburg. Five to one. Colt. Strasser, Bollinger, Strasser will free ball it over. Brandenburg, nice job by Rochester there to slow Brandenburg down. Now, Gwen Howard from the back, Doran, Beer, great dig, Clevenger, Bollinger, Brandenburg, Clevenger, the, I think Cle Bollinger got it over. Bollinger. Madison Kripe has made few mistakes in this match. Nice dig. Doran hit it over. Brandenburg from the back, and Whitco wins the point. Six to one. And Linnea Strasser did not wait to use her first timeout. That is stuffed back down by Brandenburg. 7 to 1.
Hope serve goes into the net. Back in the end of Waco, Allie Rittenauer, Aubrey Wilson serving for the Zebras. Well, that has just been a great rotation for Whitco all night with Culp serving. Aubrey Wilson serves deep. Madison Kripe, Caitlin Kripe, Brandenburg, Wilson, Caitlin Kripe to Beer. Nice diving effort by Doran, but there is Beer, the tip. Very athletic play by Beer. Let Wilson, Strasser with the tip. And Bollinger goes long, nine to two. That was a nice dig by Riddenauer. Hasn't seen a whole lot of action tonight. Let gets it over on one. Dump try by Caitlin Kripe. Doran there. Glenn Howard with the tip. Let Wilson. Doran. Wide. 10 to 2. Let with the pass, Wilson. Nice attack by Strasser, but a nice dig by Ridenauer. Kind of a miss hit by Wilson. That was surprised that was not called a double, actually. Bollinger, Strasser, and Bollinger both go after it, but that's Dara, yeah. 10 to 3. Both teams were coming off losses on Tuesday. Rochester, of course, lost to Valley in five. Wicko lost to Northfield in three, but Wicko really bouncing back well so far tonight. And another nice tip there by Brandenburg. And now she will serve. So Brandenburg, after all her just quick swings, there's just a tip from her. Those quick swings set up the tip. Honkamp. And there to handle the overpass is Gwen Howard, 12 to 3. Clevenger, Strasser, Let, Beer to handle it in center field. And an excellent attack from the back row by Brandenburg, 13 to three. Brandenburg to serve. It goes long, 13 to four. Serving for Rochester, Audrey Bollinger. And Andre with kind of a flat-footed serve from the left. And Howard attacks, and that goes into the net. 13-5. Good play by Beer to get up, and there it was kind of a... I guess you'd call that a ding-dong, kind of a... Nobody took charge on a set out of system by Howard. Three straight points for Rochester. It's 13-6. Hey. Kaelin Kripe to Howard. Montel got a hand on that. Strasser. Rolled by Beer. Harper gets it over. Let's see if Rochester can make take advantage. It's let. Blocked back by Howard. Wilson over on one. Howard takes care of it. 14 to 6. 
Jillian Paul for University of North Carolina. Caitlin Cripe, Sermon. Kaelin Kreib serve, pass by Clevenger. Wilson to Strasser. Madison Kreib, Kaelin Kreib tries to tip. No. Fourteen seven. That was just too tight for Kaelin Kreib to handle. And that is an ace, Truth or Dara. Eight serving 14. That is tight. Montel not able to kill it. We would be able to free ball it over, so Rochester's going to need another chance to swing. Let and down. 14 to 9. Went Howard with the pass. Cripe, it'll be a double. And Madison Cripe has not been asked to set much. Called for a double hit there, 14-10. Madison Cripe, Caitlin Cripe, swing. Oh, what a play by Hong Kong. Gwen Howard, Clevenger, Wilson dumps. But Madison Kripe is there. Caitlin Kripe, Harper, handled by Honkamp. Let Beer, Caitlin Kripe, Harper, kind of a whiff. Took her eye off it. 14-11. Caitlin Kripe. Han Comp. Is that Montel? Han Comp. And the kill by Culp. 15-11. Clevenger. Wilson to Montel. He almost handcuffed Culp at the net. And the tip try into the middle is good by Beer. And Rochester does not have the height Whitco has. For Rochester to win this, they just got out, scrap Whitco, and that hasn't happened. Whitco's both the, been the taller team, and I think they've been the scrappier team as well. But that is a kill by Let. But I think Rochester's picked up the scrappiness factor. Since falling behind 13-3, it was 13-3, it's now 16-12. Let Madison Kripe, Caitlin Kripe, Beer, Let Wilson, Montel with a roll shot, handled by Caitlin Kripe, Madison Kripe, Howard from the back. Now it's stuffed down by Montel. Again, Whitco has just been on top of the net all night. And that was one of the rare times with Rochester starting to get them play off. Good serve. What a play. That was beer to keep it alive. Let Howard. Caitlin Kripe over by Beer. Doran with the swing. Whitco able to get it over. Montel, Gwen Howard with the dig. Caitlin Kripe. Awkward swing by Beer, but she gets it over. Dara Strasser gets knocked back to Madison Kripe. Caitlin Kripe has to free ball it over. Doran, and it goes way long. 17-13. And even though Rochester lost that point, that's kind of how it's got to. 
Archer's got to find a way to just win points like that, and just like that, it's now 18-13. After an ace by Madison Kripe. Let Wilson, Strasser swinging from the back row, and it goes off the net. Three straight points for Whitco, 19-13. Timeout, Rochester. And the ladies, these were playing a lot scrappier than the last three points happened. Point for, the Wildcats. Point for Whitco, an ace, clean ace for Madison Kripe. That was... I think there was a little bit of confusion there. I thought one of the the um, one of the linesmen had raised his flag, but Pete Poppy, the chair referee, the chair official said no, that was down. Montel, but they can't chase that down. Twenty-one thirteen, five straight points. Into the net. Now serving for the Zebras, Riley Clover. Riley Clevenger to serve. Madison Kripe, Caitlin Kripe, Brandon Berg. Nice dig effort by Lett, but it goes wide. Another kill for Brandon Berg, twenty-two to fourteen. Jillian Culp, serving for Whitco. Jillian Culp, Strasser, Clevenger runs it down, free ball over by Lett. Brandenburg dug by Lett, can't handle it. 23 to 14. And an ace by Jillian Cole. Boy, this, she has been phenomenal serving tonight. A lot of it has been having great teammates around her. This is a great rotation for them, but her serving is a big part of it too. Now match point, Let Wilson, Clevenger gets it over. Madison Kripe, Caitlin Kripe, Brandenburg, and it's over. An outstanding performance by Audra Brandenburg and an outstanding performance by the Whitco Lady Wildcats. They defeat Rochester 25-17, 25-14, 25-14.